didn't know this, but Dr. Pepper is a famous soda brand. It was first brewed by pharmacist Charles Alderton in the 1880s in Waco, Texas. The pharmacy he worked at, Morrison's Old Corner Drugstore, is where Dr. Pepper was first served in 1885. Originally called a Waco, the drink was eventually renamed by the store owner, Wade Morrison. There are dozens of different tales as to how and why the name Dr. Pepper came to be, and we can only guess. This fresh new drink was gaining lots of popularity among Alderton's customers, and eventually, other soda fountain operators in Waco were also buying the syrup from him. Soon, Morrison could not produce enough to keep up with the demand. Alderton, the original maker, had no plans for developing further, and when young chemist Robert S. Lazenby came along, Alderton suggested Morrison and Lazenby's mention of the expansion of the product. In 1891, the Artesian Manufacturing and Bottling Company was founded by Lazenby and Morrison. It was later moved to Dallas and renamed Dr. Pepper Company. Dr. Pepper was introduced to the world at the 1904 St. Louis World Fair, where nearly 20 million people tried it alongside other novel treats including the hot dog, ice cream cone, and hamburger. The soft drink markets itself as a unique blend of 23 flavors, and rumors say that these flavors include black licorice, almond, carrot, lemon, ginger, vanilla, blackberry, pepper, cherry, orange, and much, much more. However, that's all just speculation, as the official recipe is kept a secret, and the formula is actually in two halves, with each piece held in a separate bank vault somewhere in Dallas. Only three people have access to it. There have been many different flavor extensions of Dr. Pepper, some of them discontinued while others are still flying off the shelves. Cherry vanilla, berries and creams, and cherry chocolate remain as their most popular flavors, each version coming in diet and caffeine-free varieties. Waco, Texas, the original birthplace of Dr. Pepper, also holds the Dr. Pepper Museum. What once was a vacant bottling factory is now a major tourist attraction listed on the National Register of Historic Places and contains over 300,000 artifacts, all tribute to a soft drink. Did you know that in the 60s, Dr. Pepper promoted warm soda during the holiday season? That's right, on the company website, instructions say to heat a Dr. Pepper in a saucepan to 180 degrees, place a thin slice of lemon in the bottom of a coffee mug or insulated cup, and pour the heated Dr. Pepper over the lemon. Sound appetizing? Today, Dr. Pepper is a part of the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, which also owns 7-Up, Snapple, Canada Dry, and other major soft drink brands.